Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So here we have a Nissan ENV 200 Voltia. And what the Voltia vans are, are these extended roof and extended rear bodied vans. So this is the first Voltia van to be available in the uh, used market in the UK. And what these two body extensions give you is double the capacity. So the standard ENV 200 van has a cargo area of four cubic meters and this has a cargo area of eight cubic meters. So double the capacity and also it's the only electric van that you can stand up in. Well, I say it was the only electric van. So now you have the Renault Master ZE and the LDV EV80 electric vans that you can stand up in. Uh, but of course next year or maybe later this year there's going to be a whole host of other ones i know there's the fiat Ducato coming the mercedes sprinter but all those vans like the renault master is fifty five thousand pounds and the ldv is sixty three thousand pounds that's plus fat so these other vans are very expensive um, but if you're looking for a low range electric van zero emission obviously but something that you can stand up in and have some decent cargo space then these are your only options. I've done another video that's on the YouTube channel which fully describes what this uh, Voltia conversion is. Uh, but just the basics, you've obviously got this roof extension on the top and this extension at the back, and it gives you full height uh, rear doors. You've got an extension here on the rear doors. Um, and it's uh, it's tall, it's, um, you know, you can stand up in there if you're six foot or so. It's absolutely huge. And then you've got sliding doors on both sides as you do with a normal ENV 200. But these aren't full height, they're normal height, but um, it's still low enough to step up into and step up. You can climb in there quite easily. So this van is the 24 kilowatt hour version and that battery pack which sits down there under the floor is owned. So there's no lease like you get with a Renault vehicle. And um, the range of these tends to be around uh, up to 90 miles. I think the guesser meter is showing was showing 99 miles when it's charged and I would also say that battery pack is at 100% state of health. So this is an Ascenta Rapid Plus model. So the Rapid means you've got a 50 kilowatt DC rapid charger here and that gives you that quick 20 to 30 minute charge to 80% on a roadside uh, rapid charger and the AC charging here which you would use at home or back at base um, is the upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt AC charger. As standard, they are 3.3 kilowatts, so that gives you faster charging back at base. And this also has the winter pack. So down here, we've got the three switches, which gives you heated seats on both sides and a heated steering wheel. And the advantage of that with electric vehicles is a lot more efficient in the winter. So by um, generating heat for the heater uses huge amounts of energy, and that's why EVs do less range in the uh, cold winters. But this has preconditioning, so you can tell the vehicle what time you're going to leave, and while it's connected to the charger, it will get the cab warm and get it ready for your drive. And then from then on, maybe you don't need to have the heating on as much, and you can heat your contact points, so heat the seat and heat the steering wheel, and it really does work. And that's just using a 12 volt battery, so it doesn't lose range, and it's a far more efficient way of keeping warm. And then inside here, let's just uh, switch it on. Um, we've got uh, climate control, um, Bluetooth, CD, radio. Um, up here on the dash we can see we've got two charging times so we can tell it's got the upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger and the mileage of this van is only 15,078 miles. So the primary reason for this video is to show the condition and if you see my videos before you know I point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can sometimes come across as a, a bit too negative but I don't hide anything there's absolutely no point I want people to know exactly what they're buying and then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle without coming to view it first um, and that allows people to buy it from afar and then I get the vehicle delivered to you and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use. So not much to show you on this one. It's in really nice condition. Um, it's an ex-lease one. I bought it from the lease company. It's only on 15,000 miles, as I said. Um, it had been used in London. So there was a bit of damage on the tyres and wheel trims where it had been hit uh, curbs and things. 
Um, so I've changed all the tyres. Uh, the front ones were a little bit worn, the back ones are fine, but there was a bit of sidewall damage, so I'm not messing around. It's got brand new tyres on. I've also put new wheel trims on. They're the genuine Nissan wheel trims, and that's really tidied the van up. It looks really smart. Um, so we'll just walk round, but there's very little to show you. If you can see these black marks on it, they're not um, stone chips. They are just flies. For some reason, they've come out of the field and they're just... Uh, flocking you know sticking all over to this van um so uh bumpers all in really nice condition there's no scratches or marks at the front uh for a van it's very good uh there's a couple of little marks i need to show you there's two um little chips in the paintwork there uh, i'd forgotten to dab a bit of paint on that so i'll get the touch-up stick out and dab a little bit on there um there's a few little marks on the edges of the doors where the doors get opened, but very few. Um, it's really tidy inside. Uh, it's low mileage, as I said, so you'd expect it to be, but the seats all still look like new, uh, which is unusual on EMVs because their seats tend to take a bit of wear because of the height they are. They're, they're not high enough to use the step to jump up in, so you tend to slide off the seat. So EMV vans do suffer more seat wear than other vans. Um, really tidy down here, um, but it has had uh, a bit of tidying up when it's come off lease, like all vehicles do. Um, they tend to uh, get all the sort of minor damage done other, rather than paying the charges to the lease company. And this is one exactly the same. I actually went to the operator of these vehicles uh, and saw it before it came off lease, before I agreed to buy it. And this is one where they have sent it in the body shop to have some work done done to it just tidying up mainly because these rear bumpers on these because of the body extension they're not the standard bumpers and these are actually uh, I think fiberglass obviously the bodywork is fiberglass the extension bodywork and I think this is fiberglass too and all the others in the yard they all had damage where um, people had reversed into things because uh, these do crack quite easily but this is one that's gone back in and been repaired uh, we've got a bit of black, didn't do a particularly good job of the painting there. But anyway, it looks much better. Um, but clearly this has been painted here because um, they haven't masked it particularly well there. Um, so yes, it's had a bit of painting on this corner and clearly that bumper has been repaired. Uh, this hinge was actually uh, painted black from the overspray of the bumper so I've had a quick go I've masked it up and painted it white again but the actual colour of white paint I've used wasn't a perfect match um, so that's a slightly that's a um, the only spray paint I had in white was a Renault paint and I thought it looked good enough but actually when it's dried it's gone a little bit of a it's not quite such a bright white as the original Nissan but it's just one hinge so I've left it um, and uh, I should think the bottom of these doors have been respayed because you can see a little bit of overspray there on the rubber. Um, but it's not a bad job, but you get that with vans, obviously, because they want to save on those um, return charges. Um, and then, and, and the other thing is, of course, because this van is so long, which uh, the company who are operating these, they did have a few of these and they all had damage at the rear where drivers had clearly hit things or probably hit other cars when they were parking. Um, but inside is all very clean. It's got a few dusty foot marks while I've been climbing in while I was doing my filming yesterday. Um, but yeah, very clean. The fiberglass, which is the crucial thing on these, is you don't want fiberglass damage. But that's why I bought this one because there's no damage at all to the fiberwork panels. Um, all very clean and tidy. So you get fiberglass at the top, this panel extension at the back is fiberglass, but this is all metal. Everything on inside, on the inside um, that's going to take the damage is metal. Actually, no, that's plastic. Is it plastic? It's difficult to tell. I think it's moulded. Oh yeah, it's moulded plastic. Um, but these panels are metal. So there's a bit of denting down here. But, you know, it's a van that's been used and there's a bit of denting at the bottom of the door and a few scratches. But as you can see, it's really tidy. The floor's really clean and tidy, um, as is this back plastic uh, plate. They usually get scratched up and rusted and water traps in there, but it's all pretty good. Um, much better than average, to be honest. We've also got a reversing camera here as well. Um, and then looking down the side... Um, it's really tidy. Nothing to point out here better than the other side. Um, they made a better job of painting that black bumper. Um, 
but yeah it's all very clean and tidy uh, nothing to note a uh, minor little scratch there in the paint um, and oh the one other little thing the door is dented slightly here actually a lot of nissan vans do that um, but yes yeah, just been opened against something or maybe the wind's caught it but it's indented in by just a few millimeters over a couple of inches there but not not worth risking bending that back out in case it cracks the paint um, but yes yeah, very very tidy i might be coming across a little bit negative but um yeah it's really tidy and then looking on the inside on this side it's just immaculate the seat is all still looking like new as is the steering wheel um, I'll move my bit of paper here, but we've got genuine Nissan rubber mats. It's uh, starting to wear a little bit in the base there where your heel is, but it's exactly what you'd expect to find. It all looks absolutely spot on and all nice and genuine. Oh, and we've got uh, two keys here as well. And uh, I've just got the uh, paperwork here, actually. I will quickly show you um, this has had couple of Nissan services at Nissan main dealers and the last service um, was in January and it was a major one as well so it had a brake fluid change and uh, here we've got the original uh, check sheet from Voltia when it got done um, in Slovakia uh, so we've got a date on here the 17th of the 10th 2017 so this van is just coming up to three years old as I said uh, so it's due an MOT shortly next month so I'll get an MOT done before it goes. I am just waiting for the V5 to come in from the lease company as well so it's not quite ready to go uh, but it's ready to be sold and it will be ready to go in the next uh, week or so. Um, so yeah if you're interested give me a call or email as I said I can deliver these anywhere in the country and um, this one is a rare EV it's the first one to be sold in the UK on the uh, uh, second hand obviously and um, very few of these would be done in 24 kilowatt hour battery packs um, I've done as I said I've done another video on what the Voltia van is but um, basically uh, they are standard ENV 200 vans they cut the roof off and put that extension on they cut the back off and put that extension on but that work is done over in Slovakia and this van would have gone out to Slovakia had the work done and then uh, brought back to the UK and that work costs well at the time I think it was costing £12,000 to have done so um, very expensive job but it was the only option if you wanted a larger capacity electric van this in its day was the only option and actually now it's still much cheaper to have that done than to buy these newer bigger vans which are now on the available um, but of course this has got rapid charging which the uh, £55,000 um, Renault Master doesn't have. The only other thing I'll add which uh, the charge cable isn't in there that's still in the workshop I should have put that in the back uh, but this does come with a type 2 to um, type 1 charge cable I can also supply a portable charger often called a granny cable and that allows you to charge the vehicle from a normal main socket it does take longer because they can only draw 10 amp whereas using the proper uh, proper wall charger will draw 30 amp uh, but it will always be charged uh, by the morning um, and I do a free loan of those so um, you'll probably get a wall box installed so you can charge this quicker but in the meantime you can use that portable charger and then when your wall box is installed you can return the charger to me and I'll give you a full refund hence why it's a free loan but the full details are on the website um, so yeah I think I've covered everything um, first van of its type for sale in the UK um, the largest electric van you can currently get as well um, and obviously zero emission zero uh, road tax um, exempt from the London congestion zone and ULEV charges um, so fantastic if you're running this in a city for that sort of last mile delivery local deliveries that sort of thing um, so yeah if you're interested give me a call or email